Hello, and welcome to this video where we're just going to run through the basic controls of the KX5600L. It's a really intuitive system with simple controls, but we're just going to go through a few basics with you just to get you started. If at any point you have further questions, just write them in the comments below and we can always make more videos to help you out. To get started with the KX5600L, just press the power button on the bottom left hand side. Now your system will start up and the one thing we love about this system is how quickly it does boot up. So you can see your 2D screen's on and if you really want to you can get scanning straight away without making any changes. But we'll just run you through the basic controls. If this is the first time you're using the system you might want to go to setup to begin with. To do that hit the menu button. You'll see a menu appear on the right hand side of the screen. You'll see that gain is highlighted. So at the minute that is the active option. But I use the arrow keys, I can scroll all the way down to setup and I use the right arrow key that will take me into setup. Here we can adjust the date and the time. You can also adjust the key sound if you want. So what we like to do is just scroll down to key sound and just use the left and right arrows to turn that on and off. It just means you don't get the beeping every time you press a key. To go back to scanning, hit escape and that will take you back to your 2D image. You can see you'll still have the menu on the right hand side, so if you want to hit, get rid of that, just hit escape again and that will get rid of the menu. So the first controls you might want to adjust is your depth key. So I can simply press that and that will adjust the depth and scroll through the different depth options. You can see what depth you're scanning at there, so at the minute that's 100 millimeters or 10 centimeters. And you can just cycle through the different depths. You also have gain. To adjust the gain, that'll change the brightness of the image. Hit the menu button. You'll see that gain's highlighted and I can use the left and right arrows to make the image brighter or darker. They're the two controls we mainly recommend you use for image optimization, your depth and your gain. But you can also change your frequency. So I can scroll down using the arrow keys, frequencies highlighted, and I can cycle through my different frequencies. You use higher frequencies for smaller animals to get better image resolution. And for larger animals, you can drop the frequency just so you get more penetration. Again, I can hit the escape key if I want to get out. When I'm scanning, if I do want to save any images, I can hit freeze. And then I save will save that still image. But here you can also see you can do measurements. So the minute I'm on measure, if you want to do an OB measurement, just press the down key go into OB, hit enter, and at the bottom you will see you can choose what measurement you want to take and what animal. So let's just for example say K9, I can select K9, I can use enter for CRL, and it'll bring my caliper up, and I can use my arrows to position the caliper, enter to place it, and then I can use the arrows again to place the next one. Hit enter, and as you'll see that'll calculate an estimated gestational age for you on the right hand side. You can save that image with I save if you want or you can unfreeze just to go back and take more images. These are the basic controls on the system. So again the main controls we would recommend you adjust for your image optimization is your depth key, adjust your gain and also you can drop down and adjust your frequency. If you do have any further questions, please just get in touch and we can always set up a call to run through more controls with you.